So we showed you what was going on in Salina. We showed you what's going on in Soldier Summit and, yeah. and your thistle. And I tell you what, we're in the middle of these, yeah. these storms coming at us. And this is the tail end of one storm. We have another one coming in tomorrow. We're so and another Take a number storm yep. coming into Utah. <laughs> another one Sunday, another one Wednesday, Thursday. I mean, they're lined up for a little while. Hope you well, had your have shovel out. we catching up to do. Right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm finally putting go. the, you know, shovel on my ATV so that I can push the snow. Oh, the plow? The, yeah. Oh, you're oh, lucky. Good, good. I haven't put it on yet because I knew it wasn't going to snow. <laughs> we'll give you our addresses later. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. Well, let's look at the uh, advisories we have in effect for the state of Utah. It includes the mountainous terrain, but we're not the only ones. And the mountains are not the only places that are going to be hit with this storm. We're going to see that snow falling in valley areas as well. Well, the Wasatch Mountains, 6 to 12 in general, 10 to 15 in the Cottonwood Canyons. That's in addition to 3 to 4 inches that has fallen already today. 4 to 8 in the Central Mountains, anywhere from 5 to 9 inches on the Wasatch Plateau. The Northern Mountains or the Northern Valleys will see 1 to 3 inches with the uh, average of 2 to 5 inches in some of the East Benches and anywhere from 2 to 6 inches on the Wasatch Back. So this is a fairly strong storm, but it's going to come in the middle of the day. This is the storm we're talking about up in the Pacific Northwest. This is tomorrow's storm and here's Sunday's storm. So let's get a little different perspective. Here we go. This is the tail end of today's storm. The main part of it is going through New Mexico. Here's tomorrow morning. Here we are tomorrow midday and afternoon. There it comes. This is the storm we're talking about for tomorrow. Those are the snow totals I gave you for tomorrow. Then we'll go and get a little bit of a break. Here we are Saturday, overcast, probably a little south wind. Hey, by the way, the haze is gone, isn't it? That's nice. Get rid of that haze. We don't like it at all. That storm comes in on Saturday into Sunday morning. I have a sneaking suspicion. This little wiggle right here tells me probably going to see this storm intensify over central and southern Utah more than northern Utah. I just kind of have that feeling. So here it goes, mainly through central southern Utah, but we'll still see a good uh, 6 to 12 inches in the northern mountains, maybe more like 18 inches in some of the southern mountains. Valleys will see snow out of this. And then let's move into Monday, kind of an in-between day, Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night. Here we go. Tuesday night, Wednesday, that's a big storm. And then on Thursday, here comes another one. And guess what? We're not done yet. <laughs> okay. Nobody's complaining about that, right? High temperatures are going to be in the 30s, with most spots seeing that snow pick up in the morning along the northern Wasatch Front and then through the midday and then it'll kind of taper off a little bit later in the afternoon. Eastern Utah not as uh, likely to see as much snow out of this storm because it's coming in from the northwest. It'll be primarily central northern Utah. I'd say I-70 northward. Good chance for you folks. Now St. George 49 for the high temperature tomorrow, 43 Saturday, increasingly stormy Sunday. And I do believe we'll see an inch or two of snow out of this in southern Utah, in the lower areas, down to about 2,500 feet at least. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, in between, and then Thursday, to Wednesday night, Thursday, another storm hits southern Utah with rain and snow. So the snow tomorrow, we get a break most of Saturday, Saturday night, Sunday, snow at times, locally heavy, the high on Sunday, 29. Monday in between storms and 37, 27 degrees for the high temperature. Look at the overnight lows in the teens on Wednesday, increasing chance for snow late Wednesday into Wednesday night, or pardon me, Tuesday into Wednesday, and then we get a little break, and then Thursday night into Friday, another storm. Look at those high temperatures in the upper 20s with low temperatures in the teens. That's going to mean that when you go out, you're going to definitely want to have your car prepared, especially if you're traveling somewhere a distance, maybe going up the canyons to do some skiing or getting or going to a friend's house. And you, you ought to have those things that you need, like uh, extra water. Make sure you have the, the car, uh, maybe a shovel or something, just in case you get stuck. Have some food, some high protein food, some high energy food, those kinds of things when you go out and about. And if you don't know how to drive in the snow and you just don't want to go, stay home. It's safer that way, but we've got quite a few storms coming up. And that, my friends, is a look at weather. Hope you be safe out there.